before we move on, let's take a look at what we should have seen if we'd had our simulation parameters set correctly. When we did that first simulation where the, where the workpiece or the, the stock material was set at the same height as the finished part and then we went and faced off the top of the finished part. And what we should have seen is we should have seen what we see here where the, uh, the, the tool and the workpiece are alternate flashing red. That indicates that we have crashed the machine tool. Now it's much cheaper to crash in the software than it is to crash in the actual machine tool. And, uh, and we get that by setting our simulation parameters. If we go to options in our simulation parameters and we want collision detection to be set to full, uh, we can have the simulation type to full, simulate full thread. Uh, a lot of people like to use this real-time simulation here. But in reality, what we really have to make sure we do is we have to make sure that we turn on collision detection so that it tells us right away if we've gouged the part, if we've run into some of the fixturing material, and that will help us out enormously in troubleshooting our CAM programs.